Uh, I just got home. Um, I just wanted to give a quick update about BB and what we know. And the reason why I am home, why I made the three hour drive from the vet is I have to take care of these guys. So it's kind of, um, I also wanted to uh, talk for a second about what do you do if you have some kind of a family emergency or um, some other emergency or even some commitment that's not an emergency, but you still have to take care of your piggies. Um, and then I'll get into BB, but uh, I have set these guys up with water bottles, full water, uh, the snack shack or hay rack or hay bag is full of hay. I've given them all a full bowl of pellets and that should take care of them for a day. If you think you're going to be gone for longer than that, you can always double up water bottles, double up food bowls. You can also take like a brown paper lunch bag and stuff it with hay. So considering I am only going to be gone for uh, 24 hours or less, um, that should be fine. So uh, I wouldn't worry too much when your piggies don't live alone, they have a friend. Uh, as long as you can make sure that the temperature is right and that they have all the creature comforts that they need, they're going to be fine without you, uh, even for an extended period. If you know it's important to pick your piggies up every day, but for if you're going to be gone for a day and everybody seems healthy, then that should be fine. Of course, if you're going to be repeatedly, constantly gone, you're going to want to make sure that either someone can check on them or that you have enough time to check on them um, to make sure that while you're gone, nobody uh, comes down with something, nobody gets sick, nobody has uh, an illness or an injury that needs to be addressed. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to feed everybody. And it was just in time to, um, on my doorstep, uh, my pellets came. You guys hungry? Uh, I'm really appreciative that Small Pet Select is now, instead of those big plastic bags, which I do recycle, most grocery stores or Walmart recycles plastic bags. Any shopping bag can be recycled. Any wrapping of food, as long as it's clean, should be recyclable at those plastic bag stations. But they've switched to these cardboard boxes. Now, I just put all my stuff in like a little tub anyways. So I just pop this thing open, right? And then you just pull out this tab and you're good to go. You can pour it. So my piggies like the, the um, non-GMO soy-free pellets. So that's what I'm gonna give them. And I just, you know, if you've never shopped at Small Pet Select, I love them. When we took on uh, the NorCal 700, Small Pet Select wrote the LA Guinea Pig Rescue a really big, nice check. And they've always been very supportive of us. And I think whether you may or may not know, Saskia actually makes videos for Small Pet Select. They're a small family owned company and they have really uh, spoiled my piggies and they actually gave a 15% off coupon. It's on my website. If you're a new customer and you haven't bought anything, you might want to stock up on pellets or hay or, or treats or whatever. And that's a one time use coupon, but it saves 15%. So I'm really grateful that they've shared that with me. Um, they're just really awesome. They've come to our fall festivals before and they really do celebrate small animals. So I'm really grateful for them because um, I was totally out of pellets and I knew it was on the way, but I'm glad it's here so I can really fill everybody's food bowls up. Um, let's talk about BB. So uh, he is fine. He is okay. He, uh, let's talk about what we know, what we don't know. Um, if you saw the update last night, he had, uh, well, his initial symptoms were he wasn't feeling well. He refused water. He was squinting. He actually threw up or regurgitated in the morning. There's a little gnat flying around me. Um, he, uh, we just got a lot of rain out here. Um, so I took him 
to the emergency vet yesterday. He was seen yesterday afternoon. Um, he ate a little bit on the way, not really. Um, he is still at the emergency vet in LA right now. Um, I've afforded myself some time to come back out here and take care of these guys. Uh, I didn't want to drive all the way back here with him without knowing what the full scope of his illness is. So he is there today. Um, he, he had tests done yesterday. He had two blood tests and he had a swab. The birds have a, a crop in their throat that holds food and can cause bacteria. Um, that turned out normal. There was no signs of anything abnormal. Um, and whatever bacteria was present was normal. Um, his blood tests yesterday, there was a blood test for, uh, like liver and kidney function, things like that. Um, organ function. Um, all that was normal. Um, he did show some signs of dehydration, and when they drew the blood last night, they did give him subcutaneous fluids. Um, the tests then came back today that were supposed to determine whether or not there was any infection in his blood that would warrant antibiotics. There was not. Um, they did, again, show signs of some mild dehydration. Um, but when I woke up this morning, he had what appeared to be like a, his eye seemed to be cloudy uh, as if there was a scratch. It's uniform in the center of his eye, but it seems like either there's an injury or something associated, uh, something going on with his eye. Now, I have noticed lately in general, uh, when he flies, he's not as good. He's he's. He's not able to see as well. It seems like maybe he's not able to see as well. Um, but they want to give me eye drops for him. Uh, you know, antibiotic eye drops. So uh, they're doing that and they're going to give him fluids again. They, the doctor wanted to know whether or not I wanted to do an x-ray. And to do an x-ray, they have to sedate him not put him under, but fully sedate him. Uh, he wouldn't be out, but he would be very, very heavily sedated. And they said it was not totally necessary, but it could indicate whether or not there's heart issues or whether or not he has arthritis or other things. Remember, he's 19 going on 20. And um, there are certainly things that could be going on that an x-ray might be able to illuminate. So the question was whether or not the sedation would slow or hinder his recovery from whatever is happening, whether it's just an eye injury or whatever is going on that caused his nausea. Um, but at the same time, having the x-ray, um, could potentially show other things. So um, I didn't want to, I, I was worried that the x-rays, the sedation for the x-ray might hinder his recovery, but the vet didn't seem to think that that would be um, likely. And considering he's already been at this vet for two days in a row, um, he's already been dealing with this. I thought that the stress of him having to drive again back another time, be put back in the hospital just for x-rays, uh, would be extra stress. And that while we still have him in the hospital, he's already calm and used to these surroundings that even though it may add extra stress, um, that the benefits of learning potentially whether he has arthritis or not, whether there was any obstruction or not, whether um, he has heart disease 
anything like that, um, I think that that can be uh, beneficial. So I opted for the x-rays. Uh, so of course I'm nervous that, uh, you know, by now he's probably been put under to perform the x-ray uh, and he'll be um, recovering from that uh, for the rest of the afternoon. I'm just here to feed the piggies, fill water bottles. Uh, I probably have to give them some veggies and uh, then I'm turning around to going right back to LA to pick him up. I'm gonna stay um, overnight there most likely uh, and then tomorrow um, we'll come back. Now that's assuming that he starts recovering. If uh, he takes a turn for the worse over the, overnight then we'll be back at the hospital tomorrow. Um, you know you guys are all asking uh, how long cockatiels live in the comments, and I hate that question. I hate the question when people ask about guinea pigs or any animals that I have, especially the seniors. Um, I've heard that there are cockatiels out there that have lived to be 30 years old or older. So, um, and as you know, as we all know that um, with any animal that can't tell us directly what is wrong with them or that uh, doesn't have, uh, you know, that can't go to the vet or the doctor on their own, it's up to us to detect common illnesses. So when people ask what's the lifespan of a guinea pig, I always tell them what the ranges are, but then I say the most important thing that determines that is whether or not you can spot the common illnesses. So I think that's why when it comes to BB, um, regardless of whether he is, um, you know, what his lifespan is or will be. It is the finding out about what this illness is, catching it early, not, not procrastinating uh, or delaying his treatment. And then also these diagnostics to find out what potentially, you know, he could be dealing with. But they said that his blood work looked really good for uh, a bird his age. So... Um, that's pretty much the update. There will be, I guess, one more update coming after I know the results of the x-ray to find out, you know, as an older bird, does he have arthritis? Are there heart issues? Um, was there some obstruction or something that he might have eaten? I can't believe that that's very likely because he, you know, he has free range here. Um, at his station and in the other room in the kitchen, but he has not and does not get into anything that he's not supposed to. Um, so, but we'll see what the x-rays tell. So that's pretty much it. Um, I really appreciate all your support. And, um, you know, I have a lot of fun ideas for actual uh, videos coming up. Um, you know, if you guys want to be a help when it comes to that, um, I have an idea about a video called guinea pig memes, right? You know, there's a lot of guinea pig memes out there. You might have seen the one, of course, where there's a guinea pig in um, aluminum foil with like a pat of butter on them. And obviously, I'm not going to put a pat of butter on my guinea pigs, but I thought it might be fun or funny to reenact certain guinea pig memes with uh, my piggies. So which piggy looks most like a baked potato? And uh, I was thinking that a square makeup sponge cut to the right size and shape and maybe um, painted yellow could look like a pat of butter. And if I just put my piggy uh, and put them, sit them on some aluminum foil, put that on there, I could pretty easily, without any uh, stress or harm, uh, reenact that meme. So if you've got any guinea pig memes out there that you know that you're familiar with, please, um, you know, copy and paste, send me the link to them or send them to me through my email. There's a contact page on my website because I thought that would be really fun. Um, you know, whenever there's illness with my animals, I want to share that. 
I want to um, bring you guys along with me. And whenever uh, anybody, gosh, this gnat's really annoying me. Whenever you guys have um, illnesses and you reach out and message me, I want you to follow up because the more we share about these experiences, the more we can learn about them, the more we could potentially spot these illnesses in our animals. And that really can save us a lot of time and heartache. So, um, oh, here's the hospital. So I'm going to end this right now.